there ladies today I want to show you how I go from mombi to milf probably four or five days a week so we're gonna start with the spackle the spackle is what you need to get your face ready so it's a primer it's a primer it's a crime not to prime I tell ya and you don't need much okay if you use too much it is counterintuitive but just check that out I just put that on my face and rub it in this does absorb into your skin it's the spackle of your face it just gets your face ready it makes your face flawless and ready for that foundation so it sets perfectly on your face. It's just so smooth. It's absolutely gorgeous, I love it. And you know, having dry skin, I will tell you, this primer is a game changer. I do not go a day without it. And being out here in California, I'm in all of the heat, your makeup's gonna stay on all day long, especially for your favorite foundation products. Which brings me to the Unicorn Foundations, the magical Photoshop in a bottle. You need four to five drops of this bad boy, and you're gonna have some flawless Photoshop skin with these few tips that I'm gonna give you. So just empty your dropper in the bottle, secure the lid, and shake it up. This is a mineral product, ladies, so it actually reflects the light and makes you look younger. Yes. It goes from a liquid to a powder finish, okay? What you'll wanna do is use about four or five drops and hold your brush. Once you shake it up really good, then you're gonna get it to the point that the consistency is gonna beat up right on your brush, okay? Because you don't want it sinking into your brush. So we're gonna use about five drops. Check it out. They're just on there perfectly. We're gonna just dab it around my face and go to town. And then, of course, do encourage just to blend down your jawline so you don't have any lines and you don't look like you're wearing a mask, right? But this liquid foundation, I've tried so many, and ladies, super duper lightweight, and this finish is unreal. You've got to try it. And if you need a color match, girls, I got you covered, okay, on this liquid foundation and also the concealer, okay, which is what I'm about to show you right now. I've got a little bit of on my, my concealer brush. Now, I usually go about one to two shades lighter for my concealer around my eyes just to brighten up that darkness and bring um, brightness to my eyes and have them pop in. <laughs> this is Organza, a cream concealer. I'm just going to blend this in for you guys. If you're using a brush around your eyes, one thing to keep in mind is this is going to be able to pick up dead skin around your eyes. If you're using a sponge to apply it, then you're gonna pack down any dead skin cells that you have. Now, if you like the finish of a sponge, rather than just go over the edges with um, a damp applicator of some sort, just around the edges, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in over here. And now if you're going to spot cover on your face, any sort of blemishes or acne or um, dark spots, aging, birthmarks, whatnot, go ahead and use the same shade of concealer to your foundation. This is the Skin Perfecting Concealer, okay? And this is the two shades lighter than my foundation. My foundation was Taffeta, and this is Organza. And I also have a birthmark right here. And I like to use that light shade around my nose as well, just to kind of use some extra down the bridge of my nose and right here. And it does give you a really nice, subtle, uh, matte uh, highlight to your eyes. So... Doesn't that look amazing? And then if you need to use the color on your cheeks to cover up, let's say, anything over here that maybe your foundation didn't get or you blended too much, just use a little bit of the concealer that matches. And just remember on the edges of your concealer to feather that out. You don't want to lose the concealer, but you also don't want it to look like you just patched your face up. So anyhow, I hope that helps you, ladies. So there you have it, ladies. That is how I go from mommy to MILF with these amazing products and these products that have the optical diffusers in them that give that blurred appearance and brighten up your face, make it look like I had eight hours of sleep. And let's just be real here, I've got a toddler, so we know that doesn't always happen. Bags under the eyes are insane. And let me know if you need a color match. Bye.